and we are back yes, on Devaldo back for another on episode. And we're live. Hey, listen, man, listen, as we get closer to the five year anniversary, we've got to start bringing on a few we people. We have to, didn't, and you know, it's so funny you said that because I had a chat yesterday with Ciel Noir, not yesterday, the day before, with Ciel Noir 3. Yeah. And she was saying oh, she man. needs to get on the show. And I was saying, yeah, we need to get you on the show. And is... it needs to happen. Zach Croft is, as well. He needs to get on the show. Emmanuel he needs to get him back on the show. Emmanuel, There's others as well. We need to get, get some new on. people on the show as well. I talked talk to him about my friend who's, who's in uh, the, the Crown. He plays uh, mm-hmm. one of Al Fayed's family in The Crown. He wants to get on the show. Mate. What? Oh, oh man. Mate. No, you have Can not told you? you this. This is your... Dr- you are dropping some yeah. bombshells. What? Let's do a rewind. Rewind on this one. So, okay, yeah, go on. Say that again. There. I met up with him a little while ago, and he was in The Crown. He was in The oh. Crown playing one of Al Fayed's... Uh, Jeez, we got to start I watching know. it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, he wants to get on a show as well, man. I mean, yeah. Oh, devout mm. get him on please book book him book his royal ass <laughs> like you know on the on the on the show yeah. um no but seriously on like have you seen any of the crown i haven't you know <laughs> 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 i felt a bit shameful i was like yeah yeah but i know it's a good show I, guess, I just have it. never gotten into it yes I've never, not, nothing, I've never started it to even get into it and i'm I'm, mm. I'm sure once i start it i i will but i've just never really been into royal stuff you know what i mean so that's why uh, absolutely really yeah uh, no no me too i'm exactly the same but listen we got to yeah. watch it because yeah mm-hmm. loads of people talk about it um all right so listen look folks you've downloaded this episode 234 and um we've got obviously film news yeah. reviews we're going to be speaking about all of that but let's before we get into that let's do shout well, out to so me shout out to that already but yes yeah, so, so, well, yeah we were chatting a little while ago so i'm giving a big shout out uh she's on this uh, afro vibes tv uh she's a presenter on there as well go check yeah. her out but go check out her instagram cl noir three and go and check out the uh the platform that she has and what she does on the platform lots of positivity like we always always say but now she's also a presenter for afro vibes tv so mm. go check that out and show your support as well and you'll see her on the show real yeah. soon so yeah yeah brilliant thanks for that uh all right let's get into movie news and deval it's funny you should mention this because we're going to speak about a kind of um a kind of in the shared universe mm. about this but let's speak about this so van helsing do you remember the movie van helsing i like 2004 uh yeah and uh, when it, what's his name Wolverine, yeah, and also kate beckinsale yeah. and also the guy that's kate in beckinsale. i thought this is name david we when or something his name i can't remember his name but he's also in uh, 300 he's a guy that sort of uh gets his eye cut in 300 and he's, he's the only one that comes back mm. to tell the story uh and i think he was also yeah. in lord of the rings i want to say he was in lord of the rings he what he was i think he was the, um john bean's brother or something um, wasn't he yeah brother yeah so that was it that yeah. that van helsing in 2004 was really good actually i enjoyed it yeah <clears throat> So what's happening, man? Are we going to... Because this needs to come back onto it, the screen, right? You know what? There's been talk about it for a while. Uh, James Avery, who recently recently directed <clears throat> The Pope's Exorcist, which we talked about last week, and also mm. in 2018, yeah. Overlord, he directed that as well. He loves a bit yes. of his horror. He's yeah, an Aussie. I uh, didn't realise that, but he's an Aussie. And uh, likes his horror. Hey, mate. And he's been talking about bringing it back for a few years. Now it's official. It's happening. He's going to be co-writing it. And also uh, the other producer on the film will be mm. James Wan, who you do know likes a bit mm. of horror. This is going to be more of an action horror type situation. I don't think it's going to be a full-on yeah. horror, but you never know because so far the script hasn't been written yet. So we don't have full details on uh, what it will entail or who's going to star in it yeah. or just any kind of flavor of the of the, of Van Helsing, but I would imagine the sort of horror action type of uh, you know vibe. And it's it's great that you mentioned it because we've got a trailer that we're going to speak about, which is connected to you know a Val, Van Helsing character, Dracula. So stick around for that, folks. Listen up to um, you know when we get into the whole trailer section. But yeah, that's great to hear a good action piece. We love we love doing that. Um, all right, the other piece of news over here, Deval. This is interesting, right? Because we're getting a lot of kind of game adaptations and they're doing now they started to do really well. So we've had Last of Us, we've had uh what was that Xbox game with Master Halo. Chief? What was that one again? Uh, mm. Halo, we've had that. We've we you know, we're gonna we're gonna get Gran mm. Turismo, 
we just had released in the cinemas uh, Super yes. Mario Brothers, and I watched this with the little one. Um, you seen it? So I took the little one to watch this. I've just I've seen it, and we haven't obviously. You can talk I'm about it later. To see no, you can talk about it later if you've got time, because I'm I'm not going to see it, but I've heard good things about it. You know. Mm. Yeah, and um. So the thing is, you put this up on the news, right? Which is, this is smashing mm. the box office. And yeah, man, it is, man. Tell us yeah, about so this. Just basically, just the financial part. I'll let you talk about the movie part later. But yeah, I mean, so far, Super Mario Brothers, uh, the movie has taken $508 million worldwide so far in just nine days. Yeah? In just it's nine mad. days. <laughs> uh, so Mario, Luigi, Princess uh, Daisy, you got Bowser, uh, gorilla, I can't remember his name, uh, King Kong, yeah, Kong. Kong. <laughs> Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, uh, all the rest of them, you know, all the Cooper Troopers and all that kind of stuff, Mushroom, Stars, you know, all that yeah, is going to be involved in it. in it. And yeah, that's, you know, so far, I mean, just like you said, it's a family movie. So when you think about the box office, when it comes to family movies, if one person, <sighs> if, if one child it wants rings. to go, usually that's going to be accompanied by at least another adult or two. So yeah. that's why you've got to buy more tickets. Trust me. That's why these family movies, if they're really good, they work out in the box office. Uh, so I think Chris Pine yeah. is in it. Anya Taylor-Joy is in it. Jack Black. Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Sorry, Chris P. So many Chris P's out here. <laughs> Too many P's. Chris, Chris P's Chris P. out there, yeah. Uh, uh, Jack Black is in it as well. So you know, I'll let you talk about it later. But yeah, just the money, the money side of it yeah, is yeah. taken so far more in nine days than Ant-Man and the Wasp did so far <laughs> in like two, three months. Oh. So... Yeah, That's mad, isn't yeah. it? It's just so they're definitely Nintendo movies yeah. and whoever else is kind of in conjunction with this. Illumination, I think. Illumination is the company. It's a French studio, actually. They're the ones behind um, the group movies. You know those Minions? Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those were those were kind of really successful movies as well. So you're kind of getting that whole pedigree. But uh, yeah, man, I, I guess what this means is, and from what you're saying, Deval, we're going to get kind of sequels. We're going to get a part two so. and I like, should think you know... so. Money talks. Money talks. You know, the Ikash, I want you. The Ikash, I need you. Well, <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> um, so listen, we'll, we'll keep you posted on that one. And yeah, and if we've got time, I'll speak about that uh, later on in the show. But listen, let's move on a little bit. So listen, we've got a big, we've had a big announcement from HBO yeah. and Deval, I'm not sure if you heard about this, but listen, mm -hmm. HBO, they're now, it's not going to be called HBO Max. It's just going to be called Max. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's kind of, they, they, they're changing things up now, you know, they're swapping things around, but you know, amidst all of this, not only are they just going to be calling it Max, they're also launching, they've used this kind of platform for them to launch a couple mm -hmm. of new shows. So check this out. HBO announces House of the Dragon season two has started mm -hmm. filming. Okay. Not only that, they've announced a prequel TV show, uh, which is going to be starting filming really, really soon. And they just released footage, which we're going to be speaking about uh, in the trailer section, like, you know, the penguin. Oh, yeah. But I mean, yeah, so we'll, we'll speak about that in a moment. But um, yeah, this whole kind of, remember at one point where there was talk of them having... Um, like about three or four House of the House of Games shows. Do you yeah, remember Game this? Yeah, Game of Thrones. They, they even, I think they started to film one with uh, Naomi Watts, and that got that yeah, got cancelled. Yeah, so there's a lot. Yeah, man, exactly. So this new one, which is uh, going to start production really, really soon, is set a hundred years before Game of Thrones. So, you know, we've got House yeah. of the Dragon, which takes place, I don't know, thousands of years, maybe before or 600 years or whatever it is. This one is going to be a bit closer to kind of, you know, the, uh, you know, the target. And it, it does follow a Targaryen and it follows, um, I can't remember, there was one other big kind of character, one other house that they're going to be following up on. So it's going to be a bit closer to kind of the Game of Thrones, the, the universe that we know, but it's still going to be a prequel. Not only that, they've just announced that they're going to be doing... Uh, I know you're not a kind of big fan of this, but there's a lot of kind of Harry Potter fans. They're actually going to be doing a Harry Potter show, which picks up about 10 or 15 years after the movies ended. And what they're saying is the guys at HBO, um, they're saying that this show could go on or this kind of universe could go on for about 10 years. They're looking like oh. a 10 year run. Oh. So what they want to focus, yeah, what they want to focus on is one season equates to one book that J.K. Rowling wrote. 
So they want to focus on basically those peripheral characters seen from a different angle. So they have the events of the book and the movies and whatnot, but they focus on a different character. So they won't focus on the main guys like, you know, Harry Potter and like, you know, those other kids, but maybe someone else who was kind of peripheral. They see it from their point of view, but it still kind of follows on that whole Harry Potter universe, which sounds interesting. People are losing their shit about it. Uh, interesting thing here, Deval, is J.K. Rowling. She's going to be executive producer and oh, yeah. people's eyebrows people's eyebrows have been raised because she's been in the news lately. I'm not sure if you picked up on this, but she's been quite vocal about kind of the LG. Oh yeah. Yeah. She has been for a while. And they've, been, they've, been, they've been cussing her for quite a while. Cussing her for ground, a while. You know? it's, uh... Exactly. She kind of, you know, she stands her ground. Yeah. She's got her views and people are like, why is she being given executive producer status on this when her views okay. are like this? But I mean, it's her, it's yeah, her child. I think it's probably this in her is... contract, anything to do with the books, she has to be executive producer. I'm there sure that's go. the case. So if they wanna if they wanna make it, they have to include her. And uh, no matter what her polit political stance is, whether you agree with it or not, I mean it, that's just yeah. how it that's, that's that's how the contract's gonna work, I'm I'm sure. Mm. Exactly, man. Uh, and this means a lot of money for her. So listen, look, that's your movie news. That's your lot for this week. So keep it locked with the Flixers, folks. And remember, you can watch this episode on YouTube. Subscribe, like us, do all that. It helps support us. Uh, let's do a new on streaming. Mm. Now, Devout, I have heard about this show. I read it and I was like, shit, i got to put, put this on the watch list. So tell us about this because this is called The Power and this is on Yeah, Amazon this is Prime. called The Power. And do you know what? I'll be honest, I haven't seen it yet, uh, but I really do plan to see it. Like. Maybe mm. I might start an episode this weekend. But this is an Amazon Prime, and this is about a world, it's modern times, but it's about a world where uh, young girls have been given the power to electrocute people. Yeah. So young girls, are, are, I think about in their teens or so, I think so, uh, they've just got powers to electrocute people, like, you know, the power, like, I got the power, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh tony collette uh she's an aussie isn't she yeah she's tony, an aussie she's, yeah she's been in loads she remember she was in um that ariasta film oh yeah uh uh the horror film what's it called again hereditary hereditary His first yeah, one. Yeah. hereditary yeah, so it. she's in it uh eddie marsden's in it uh the guy whose name you love to pronounce john luguizamo he's in it as well no, uh, sure, yeah, so yeah. this is yes yeah, it kind of makes me think of like I don't know why, but it makes me think of uh, the boys. It, it makes me think of that. Just yeah. teenagers, well, not the boys, but the spin-off that's going to happen. Teenagers and kids with powers uh, and just running them up. So this, yeah, this looks interesting. It's out now. I would give mm. it a watch if I was you. You know, it's I am. So yeah, yeah I'll say give it a watch. I'm going to watch this. Yeah, defo. Yeah, so that's interesting. That's on there. Um, listen, well, look, we don't have time, but I mean, Mandalorian's out there and stuff, and we can maybe speak about that next week yeah, after yeah, the yeah, kind of the yeah. finale and everything. But that's also out there. There's so yeah. many other stuff, Devel. There's this show called The Florida Man, which I want to watch. That's on Netflix. That? That's just kind of Oof. been released. Um, oh, it's kind of like a heist. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of like you know, new stuff is out there, man. We got uh, there's a lot of stuff mm. we got to watch out, watch out for. Uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, but listen, let's speak about these new trailers. So let's get onto new trailers and the big one here, wow. Deval. So, man, let's speak about this, right? So we spoke already about Secret Invasion. Yeah, did we speak about I'm Secret sure Invasion? Have at some point, yeah, definitely. Mm. We must have spoken about Secret Invasion. So Secret Invasion, uh, that was released maybe a couple of weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Now the Marvels, which is teaming up uh, Captain Marvel, Ms. Marvel, and... Photon. Yes. Is it no her name uh, Photon, is it? I don't know if is they're officially Photon? calling her that, but in a in a comic she's Photon, yeah. 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 So which yeah. is Monica Rambeau. And um this is kind of like it picks up right after the end of Ms. Marvel, the Disney Plus TV show. So remember at the end of that, Ms. Marvel, so Kamala Khan, she gets zapped somewhere and in her place is Captain Marvel. And it's like, right, what the hell's going on? So in the trailer, we kind of figure out, we see what's going on you know, um, Samuel L. Jackson, Nick Fury, he's out in space and he's working with Monica Rambeau. There's a new, not shield, not sword, but there's a new kind of designated secret service space thing called Orb. Now, is what it is Orb? it called again? Is it Orb? Some, I can't remember the name because it changes from the comics to the TV shows to the 
to the mm. to the movies, but yeah, they're basically the sort of uh, Aven- not Avengers, but they're sort of like the shield of space, kinda. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff going on in there. So there's a lot of zapping. Kamala Khan, she's out in space. Uh, Monica Rambeau, she gets zapped in other places. We see apparently, um, what's her name? She's not, you know, like we had it in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, we had Ronan mm. the Accuser. So we have another, what, what they're saying is that there's a, a, an actress called, uh, I think her name is Zoe mm. Ashton. Mm. She's actually married to Tom Hiddleston in real life. She plays another accuser. What, to Loki. Oh, she's married it? to Loki. Okay, okay. Yeah. And um so she's so there's a scene in there where she's carrying some like a weapon which is very similar to the is it like a hammer yeah, or he had a kind hammer of, like of a, some sorts. Like the judge's hammer, because he's like the he's like the judge, isn't it, kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. So there's gonna be like, you know, a whole lot of that going on in there. So she's gonna be the villain. We need to figure out like how they're gonna team up. We also need to figure out does this take place before Secret Invasion or after Secret mm-hmm. Invasion? And also key to all this, there's a big kind of spoiler in there. They're saying that the Nick Fury that we see in Secret Invasion or even this might not actually even be Nick Fury. Mm. So maybe 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 the end that of the scene is that they uncover that that Nick Fury is going to be a fake one because that's coming out in November and we're going to get Secret Wars before, right. sorry, Secret Invasion before then. So, yeah, I'm not sure. It's still confusing now. Shit. Hmm. Because, don't you, because don't you think the tone of this Nick Fury, the way he acts in this one, in the, in the Marvels one, is different to how he is in Secret yeah, Invasion? Definitely uh, more playful. Secret, in, Secret Darker. Invasion, he's, he's, yeah, he's not messing around. Yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? He's like it's really, he's really, it's like, it's a darker show. Him. Like, you know, he's the, he knows a lot of what's going on and he's got all that weight on his mind. Mm. So, mm. but yeah, what did you make of this trailer? I think it looks all right. I'm, I'm, again, with Marvel at the moment, I'm not really expecting mm. too much. Uh, so I'm just going to see how it turns out. But it looks like it could be fun, but I just don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, gonna, don't know. I'm just going to wait Absolutely. and watch it. But, yeah, Captain Marvel. This, the, the character has so much potential, but I don't know if she's fulfilled anything so far. Mm. Mm-hmm. And this could be, this could be, could it be her last one, or maybe she's contracted to do another one? Who knows? Maybe we'll have to wait and see. But like, I'm, I'm with you on this one. We'll see what happens exactly because we, you know, it's what happened. What we thought about uh, Ms. Marvel, the show, you know, She Hulk, and and all those things. I think mm. you know we'll have to kind of just wait and see. Now the next one. Uh, the Penguin. This is the continuation of Matt Reeves's The Batman mm. Universe. So this kind of takes place after the events of The Batman. And they in this kind of teaser trailer featurette, because you actually see behind the scenes of them actually mm. making this in this kind of featurette trailer. It looks decent, you know, I'm not going to lie. This one, of all the trailers mm, that I've seen dark. so far, this looks decent. It looks dark. It looks like we're going to get a show about crime. Who doesn't like a show about crime? Mm. This is this is this probably we're not going to see any sort of superhero powers or any suits, but this is going to be about real crime and just understanding how certain characters were made. This to me looks decent. This looks decent. Mm. I love. There's a bit at the end where uh, he there's a there's a shot of uh, Penguin mm. Colin Farrell. He's shooting someone, and then he does this kind of crazy yeah. little laugh. Yeah. And then and I'm like shit. This this yeah, has got the hallmark of being like really okay, really good. So we'll have to wait and see. That really blows up from this. And the, the thing that gave it more more uh, sort of weight for me was seeing Michael Kelly, who plays Doug Stamper in House of Cards. He's mm. in it. I was like, oh shit. He's in it. Okay, this looks good. Um, a few other mm. people as well. I mean, I mean, like so you can sort of recognise. But yeah, that when I saw him, I was like, yeah, this is going to be good. Yeah, mm. yeah, this is going to be good. And then I guess this leads on to we we are going to get a Batman Part yeah. Two. Like I'm talking about the Matt yeah. Reeves's universe. So this is probably going to kind of help kickstart that whole thing. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. Now the other one, uh, I watched this trailer and devoured. This looks really good. Now where do, where are you on the whole True Detective? Because I saw season one, season mm. two. I there was a Colin Farrell season three one I think as well, and then there was a season four with uh, Mahershala Ali. Yeah, I've seen them all, and uh, the best one was the first one. Uh, the best one, yes, the first a one bit was brilliant, weird, and like didn't know what was going on, and just seemed a bit crazy. Mm. Uh, so it was good. Uh, this one, uh, True Detective, uh, I think it is called. Uh, 
uh, night. night what's it called again uh, night country I'm pretty sure it's, it's called that it's night country well. yeah set in yeah, Alaska so or somewhere stars, right? uh, Jodie Foster uh, set in Alaska like you say the, mm. I mean, night, night country you know in places like that you know there's a lot of night they say it has one of the highest uh, rates yeah. of depression in the world and uh, yeah, yeah, this looks this looks like another sort of spooky back to its roots spookiness kind of going on, and uh, this looks like yeah. it could be good, man. Again, this is going to be an H- thirty days of night. It gave me a lot of H- that vibe. Do you remember that vampire film? Thirty days, of, film? Night. 30 yeah. days of night. Yeah, it gave me that kind of um, vibe to it. Like this mm. kind of like there's a there's a there's a murderer, but there's some sort of kind of cult mm. sign like involved mm. in it. Jodie mm. Foster, she's yeah. really going for it. HBO it looks good. Again, I more, want to watch more, that. More content for them. It's looking decent, man. Yep. Exactly. Uh, let's move on. Let's talk about this now. The Continental. We spoke about John Wick a few weeks ago. This is the TV show, which is coming out. I think is it Peacock? On I Peacock, can't remember yeah. if it's Peacock or, Peacock or something like that. Mm. Yeah, it's on Peacock, right? And um, so this kind of is uh, Winston, mm. the character of Winston. You know the Ian McShane character, the older English guy. It's based on him, but when he yeah. was younger, and Lance Riddick's is Lance Riddick's character, uh, who I've forgotten his name now, his yeah. character. So it's their relationship, how he, how he basically gets to become yeah. the manager of the Continental. Mm. Probably, I didn't realize Mel Gibson's in this. Yeah, he but he wasn't even yeah, in the trailer. I don't know how much it's going to be in it, but yeah, he's in it. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see just how the history of the Continental came about and. Yeah, I've seen other non John Wick characters get a bit of limelight and see if the bulletproof suits are just as effective. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> exactly. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, Deval, you and I, we spoke about this continental show. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm sure we spoke about this like years ago yes. on the show. Yes. We spoke about it a yes. long, long time ago. We said that there's going to be a TV show. And that just proves to you that that just shows you how long yeah, this stuff exactly. takes sometimes yeah, to exactly. get made. This has been going on for a while. They've been talking about doing kind of like a spin-off, uh, you know, TV show. So we're going to get this. We're going to get the. We're going to get Ballerina, which is in the John yeah. Wick universe as well. So check those out. Uh, if you haven't seen this trailer, go check it out. If you're a fan of that, now this next one, let's get into the kind of horror genre a little bit over here. The Last Voyage of the Demeter. So the Demeter. Oh Jesus, this is this looks really really good and dark and. Yeah, this is like, um, I didn't know this, but this is, apparently this is, it's based on the novel from Bram Stoker. This is a chapter about a captain's log in in the novel Bram Stoker's Dracula. This is, there was kind of like a chapter based on a captain's log, a voyage from Romania to London, Romania to England. Something strange and something weird is on board the ship, the Demeter and things go mm. bump in the night and um it stars liam cunningham from game of thrones it stars Corey hawkins who devour is american but i think he's accent. doing it he's some, yeah he's yeah, he doing it walking dead and he had that one one series of uh what's that show he had um, 24, 24. It, yeah yeah and he was in he played dr Dre uh, in yes, uh, straight yes, out of yes, compton yes, 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 yeah so yeah man so what do you make of it? Tell us what this your trailer, thoughts are. I couldn't tell if it was uh, like, it, it looks good overall. I'm going to watch it. I couldn't mm-hmm. tell if this trailer looks like a sort of big budget film or a low budget film or somewhere in between. And I think it does, mm. it does still confuse. I'm not sure if it's a big budget or not, but it just, it still looks good. And you don't need big budget to make a good horror film. The, I think the premise is a mad one. It's got, it's talking about Dracula mm. on a boat back in the 1800s. Yeah. Yeah, you're on this boat going across the big water and you've got nowhere to go and there's, there's Dracula on board. Like It's almost like Alien 3. You've got an alien in the prison and you've got nowhere yeah. to go. This is a confined space. I mean, this is this is hell. I mean, come on, man. Yeah. But yeah, this looks interesting. Uh, people that are involved, Andre Orenval is Orendal, is the director. And what did he direct? He's worked with Guillermo del, Tor- del Toro scary okay. stories right. he directed troll hunter yep. and also directed uh, M- uh what's the one we were talking about babin gida and them lot uh, what was the one uh we we're talking about being possessed and we we're saying that babin gida babin gida babin gida got possessed no one will care what's his one <laughs> oh, eight, the autopsy of jane Doe. that's it yeah 
Oh, then the autopsy shit, of Jane yes. Doe. So right, yeah, okay. so that's the that's the directing pedigree. We've got Liam Cunningham, who's mm. uh, Sir Davos in Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, and, and, and you know, uh, David Dalmastian, who we've seen in you know in Marvel and other stuff like that. But this is looking looks yeah. decent. It's coming out in August, so we'll have to wait and see how it actually turns out. But mm, I'm watching it. And um, yeah, and just on that, you know, this is this is kind of like a universal mm. property. So mm. what they're hoping for is to expand their whole kind of uni- the dark yeah. universe. Yeah. They're calling it. Uh, so you know, where you have like you know Dracula, mm. the Mummy, Frankenstein, and all this sort of stuff. So the feeling that I got from this was that one of those characters, mm. Deval, gets bitten. And then it comes Dracula then kind of, you know, because there was someone who had a, yeah. if you look in the trailer, some of them, I some have got a bite lady. mark. I think it's her. I, reckon it's, I think it's, it's the her. Lady. It's got yeah. one of them. I think it'll be her. And then obviously then it kind of leads on to kind of like something else. Mm. And then we've got this whole expanded universe. So go check it out, folks. That's called The Last Voyage of the mm. Demeter. Now, finally, God, we've gone through a lot of trailers over here. Let's speak about this now. Devel, you mentioned this one in our WhatsApp group. So this is called Talk To Me. This is an A24 mm. movie. And uh, A24, they're behind some great, 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 great movies. You know, quirky, offbeat, you know, um, even like, you know, horror. They, you know, they, they, they've they come up with their own horror movies as well. And this one, you can add to that. This is an Aussie movie. And um, it kind of starts off like mm. really weird. Like, you know, friends, they're in a house. They have this weird hand porcelain hand which can communicate which you can use to communicate with yeah, like ghosts a Ouija board, quite like a, and a Ouija yeah. board with a hand and here's the thing you can only talk to it you you should only talk to it for 90 seconds because if you talk to it beyond 90 seconds they or it stays Great. behind oh I, I, mate <laughs> You know what okay, happens. Are there right? any black people in this film? The, the lead person is black. Yes. Fucking heck, mate. Mate. Yes. If I walk <laughs> into any party where people are messing around with, with Ouija board stuff, <laughs> ah, I'm out. You're going to do a nope. Running. You're going to yes, do a nope. I'm out. I'm out. I want nothing to do with it. Nope. Uh, I'm scared of oh, that shit. Gosh. You've been talking no, about man. it now. Talking exactly. about it now. I'm scared. I'm scared. And and there's some and there's basically so she obviously the the girl her mum died and um, she wants to communicate with her mum but you know what happens the mu- the mum isn't like uh, yeah hi daughter mm. nice to see you. this is you're talking about demons you're, this is talking about a demon mm-hmm. that you know obviously they stays behind and like the shit hits the you, fan and oh man we got to watch this let them chill unless they're going to communicate to me some sort of lottery numbers or unless they're going to communicate oh yeah by the way I left this money over here like. Stay, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You had your time, just like you know. stay. Oh, oh gosh, you man. Know. Um, so communicating, no, trust me. So this is called talk to me, and oh. um, and the reason why it's called talk to me is because when you touch the hand, that is what you've got to say. You've got to say talk to me, and uh, yeah, and we'll see what happens. So listen, this is a twenty four. Uh, go mm-hmm. check out the trailer and let us know what you think. So that is it for trailer section. Let's move on to anniversary corner. And this fits in nicely with uh, the main movie that we're going to be speaking about. But this is Super Mario Brothers, the the kind of the original yeah. one with uh, John Luis Yamo. And who was the other the guy? It's funny how these things keep popping up, isn't it? <laughs> I know, Bob Hoskins. I know. Who's Bob the other Hoskins, guy? Dennis Bob... Hopper. Wasn't it? Yeah. And obviously, like it's yeah. one of those roles that, like, I'm pretty sure he's cringing at today. Uh, and mm. yeah, it's just this film. I, well, I remember. Well, not Bob Hoskins. He died. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I just remember seeing these uh, creatures with small heads. Because playing the game, I was like, okay. Because back back then, I think back then the big game for me was Super Mario Kart. Then Super Mario yeah, yeah, yeah. regular one was out and stuff like that. Obviously. But yeah. just you, you kind of wanted to see something of that to translate it on the screen, and this mm. was the first big deception that we saw from mm. computer games, you know, games coming to the screen. Like Street Fighter had a similar situation, but I guess they tried a bit more. But with this yeah. one, it's a madness, man. What was going on with that? Yeah, it's a madness. It was mad. It was mad. Yeah, it was. It was derided. It didn't do well at the box office, and kind of people were like, "Look, this is not how you make." 
you know, game adaptations. So yeah, it's out there. And obviously fans of Super Mario, they would have kind of gone out there and watched it and everything. I've seen it. I listen, I didn't watch it in cinema. I would, I kind of saw bits and pieces of it when it was on like TV or, or you know, caught it or something like that. And it's just kind of, it just goes to show you that mm. for such a long time, Deval, we were starved of these great, you know, game adaptations. We haven't had any good ones. So, you know, it's out there. If you want to see a better version of that, then you'd have to watch the 2023 version of that because they've gone not live action, they've gone animation. So kind of they can probably get away with a lot more things. So uh, if we've got time, we can well, definitely I think, I think speak you about that. Right but, now. You should go right into it, man. Mm. Uh, okay, brilliant. So listen, look, man, here's the thing. You know, when I watched, uh, when I, I read some reviews, I was like, listen, if I'm going to spend some money on this and I'm going to take the kids and everything, I want to just kind of see what the reviews are like first. And here's the thing, Deval. A lot of people were saying that Chris mm. Pratt is is just basically coasting okay. through the movie. And I was like, shit, has he now become such a household name that the movies that he does, he just coasts through them? Do you remember on Amazon Prime, he did this film called The Tomorrow yeah, War? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people said, oh, he's coasting through that. He did um, He did another thing, where a TV show where he plays like a ex kind of like spy. Terminal, and right? then the his terminal? team get... No. The Terminal I thought that, I thought that was good though, isn't it? That one was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was decent. And then a lot of people saying, "Oh, he's coasting oh. through that." And then I was reading, I was reading about this, and I was like, "Shit!" Like he's coasting through this. But then I was like, "Look, the kids are asking me to go, so we're going." And you can I say one thing? It couldn't Is be it? further from the truth. I, I don't know what people are watching. He's playing a game character. And he's he's faithfully depicting what that Kane character is. Like, you know, the director is saying, this is what we want you to say and this is what we want you to behave. I don't know where they're getting the shit where he's coasting. I, I, I just don't get it, how you can coast Mario. Like, do you get what I'm saying? The movie is, is basically fun. Um, there's so many kind of references in there that adults are going to kind of really like as well. They're going to get. And the plot line is basically... Luigi and Mario, they're plumbers in New okay. York City. And yeah. they are, you know, they, there's the kind of a funny opening mo uh, moment in the film where they release a kind of video, but they're not getting any business. And then there's kind of um, an issue with the plumbing system in New York City. They go in, they try and kind of fix it. But then what happens? They get sucked in to this whirlpool and then they get taken through to the Mushroom City and Luigi and Mario, they get separated. And then Mario then has to find Luigi. But at the same time, he has to help the Princess Peach save her mushroom city from Bowser, who's kind of then uh, on a warpath and he's attacking all these little kingdoms. And that's basically the gist of it. And then you've obviously got Donkey Kong. You've got kind of, you know, the Kong, you know, world. He's got to go over to Kong. You've got so many references to the games. You've got the music. You've got the characters. You've got the power-ups, which are really, really good. You've got the stars and everything. And you know what, Devout? It's, it's fun. It's like, you know, I, I wasn't yawning. I didn't fall asleep. I wasn't getting bo bored watching it. The little ones, they liked it as well. And... Um, man it's a it's a decent movie whether or not you you devout are going to go out and watch it i don't okay. think so I, I don't think it's you're going to be like yeah i want to go out and watch mario brothers but if you were going to take mm. like a nephew or a ch son and like you know daughter or whatever then yeah 100 percent mm. you would so um comparing the old version to this version 100 percent you would okay. watch this version from, from yeah. the sounds of it because my brother took his kids to see it as well and he said it was all right and i was surprised he said that yeah, and uh, I, I'm going to watch this. I'm probably not going to go to cinema, but I will watch it at some stage. But no. I do want to. I do like the fact that you've described it as in, you know, some of the bits in it adults can relate to, as well as kids can relate to as well. Because yeah. as, as as adults now, but kids then we played the games. The kids now mm. don't really play Mario, do they? They're playing Fortnite no. or whatever. No. The kids are going now because it's an yeah. animation. That's it. But it's exactly. the, the adults taking the kids that can really relate to it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Hundred percent, and there's kind of like this whole nostalgia mm. because there's levels in the or stages in the film where you're like, oh, mm. that's that level, and you know, there's kind of like a whole scene where they've got to go in carts. Oh so then gosh. it's like Mario Kart. 
Mate, so yeah, man, they've, they've got all of that. Get it's, out it's, my, really my, good. My, my, it's good. It's good. Nintendo and start playing Mario Kart today. You know, don't make <laughs> oh, me do man. it. You know, Trust I must me. say that's a game. Yeah, and I know can... this is nothing to do with film, but Super Mario Kart. I can say this with full confidence. That's a game where. I cannot be beaten. And I know lots of people say Is this here. Yeah. Honestly, lots of people say this, but it's such a weird thing with that game there. I don't know what it is. I could not play it for 10 years. As soon as I pick it up. But you can still be good. good, yeah. Honestly, I'm not even messing around. It's, it's beyond good. It's beyond, it's beyond <gasps> good. It's beyond. It's literally wow, that. I'm, I'm still waiting for a out. challenger to this day. And usually when I challenge people, I give them my keys and say, if you win, Everything attached to that is yours. That'd be my car. That'd be my house. You Mate. are cute. All right. That Mate, is honestly, next level confidence, no one, man. No one, honestly, it's mad. Mad. You know what? Let's, listen, listen let me just someone. send this out there. So I'm going to put this out Find there someone. on the internet. Listen, whoever listens to this episode, come Find and let's someone. do an online gaming session with the Flicksters and let's Find put this someone, out man. there, man. Go, Seriously. go see to those ladies that work in the John Wick office. Let them type out <laughs> on the machine. <laughs> Yeah, and they get a wire, exactly. they put it in another little slot, and like, why oh. have they got that? <laughs> Old school, like you know, oh gosh, man, that's uh, wicked. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, man. So I would say, obviously, don't don't waste your ticket or don't waste like you know whatever of getting this on uh, going to the cinema. Watch it when mm. it comes out, you know, okay. whenever. Okay. And then you know, yeah, you and you have a good time. And listen, look, here's the thing, Nintendo. So that's a mm. Nintendo IP. And let's speak about the kind of the other main movie that we're going to be speaking about, which is Tetris, which is, as people know, if you mm. bought the Game Boy in the 1980s Gosh. or the late, yeah, early yeah. 90s or whatever it was, Tetris came, was kind of shipped alongside the Game Boy. Now, this movie, I got to just say one thing. I didn't even know half the Mate. shit that was going on Mate. in this movie. And you know what, a, a, a devout, seriously, a part of me, which was like, hang on a second, is this stuff really, really real? Did this stuff happen? And here's the thing. Yes, there are things in this movie which they did kind of stretch out and make up and, you know, they had to kind of make it dramatic. But the kind of the spine of this movie is really what happened. Because and what I did was I went online, I started reading about it, I started reading about the characters and started reading about the whole situation. And yeah, man, this shit really happened. This is the dramatization of Nintendo getting the rights, the game rights, the handheld rights, the arcade rights, whatever you want to call it, from the, the actual creator of the game, who was a Russian guy, which I didn't know about, who was working for a company which was owned by the state of Russia, the U sorry, mm. the Soviet Union, USSR, USSR, in the late 80s. Mm. there's the KGB involved. There are Robert Maxwell, who was this yeah, British Maxwell's dad. That's what I thought. You know, yes. I didn't realize that. It's only after I, w I watched, the, I I watched the film it. and it got to the end and it had all these things. And it said Maxwell. And I was like, this guy looks familiar. He's, these dark features look familiar. And then the, the name. And I was like, shit, yes. that's Jelaine Maxwell's dad. The one that was with... Uh, yes. Epstein. Harvey uh, Epstein. 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 That whole little curse. Yeah, Epstein. 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 Mate. She got sent to prison for about Mate. 20, 30 years. <sighs> sorry, I cut, I, I cut you off. So, this, so yeah. look, it's got all... The, no, 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 sorry. No, no, it's got all these kind of characters. So Robert Maxwell, his son, Kevin. It's got kind of like the creator of the game, Russian. It's got this guy called Hank, Hank. or Hank, who is... Uh, yeah, so he's based out in Japan, played by Taron Egerton, who's a British actor. Here's the thing, Deval. There's so many kind of convoluted. It yeah. was a bit convoluted. Yeah. There are yeah. so many different kind of attention. pieces. Oh, um, <laughs> mate. I, there were moments where I, I was like, rewind it right, about okay, three so times. Who... Like, I missed bits. I was like, oh, what's going on here? Mm. I'm lost. Exactly. So I had to kind of like really kind of like think, shit, right, where are we now? Where are the rights to this? But I've got to say, it's fun. They've made, they've turned it into this kind of because in your opinion, could they have made it, they, they could have made this into a TV show, mm. that's right. They could have done maybe like a three or four part, but I guess what they wanted to do was make it, fit it into an hour and a half or two hours, make it this kind of package it into this kind of like fun little mm. kind of story. But, you know, I, I think they try to make it kind of in this interesting, edgy spy thriller set around this backstory of this game, which millions and millions of people around the world like no one love and played. Like I remember playing this. I remember picking up the Game Boy and be like addicted to this game. 
but the origins of this game is just absolutely crazy. But yeah, man, what did you make of it? Yeah, that, that, I mean, I, I did enjoy it. I was a bit confused at times. Uh, and I think the, mm, the, the, the backstory of Tetris and where it came from, I had no idea it came from a Russian you know, uh, person or designer or whatever. Uh, but even now, when you think of the, the music, you know, the music does sound Russian. Like the Russian anthem or something like that, you know. How's it go again? It's a uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it goes. Um, I, no, you know, I had it in my head, but now all I can think of is Mario. And I mean, din, din. Du, 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 du. Oh my god, that's all I can think it'll of come now. To me, it'll come like, to me. I'll, oh, I'll just gosh. sort of randomly do it. But yeah, the, the, yeah. even the theme sounds Russian. Just, but then, just uh, that, the, that what you just said about rights. Taron Egerton's character Hank was like uh, trying to battle for. Uh, computer rights, arcade rights, handheld mm. rights. These are all different. And even the computer rights, there was some sort of, uh, so there was somebody uh, exploited a, a loophole in the definition of computer. Yeah. And that, that was that that made them able to trick someone. Computer, as in how do you define yeah. it? Is a computer a, a yeah. console or is it a, a PC almost, you know, with a keyboard and and with a keyboard exactly. and a mouse. So yeah. That was involved as well in showing how people can use that to try and get an advantage. And it, there's a lot of back and forth in this film. And it's all quite, I mean, there's hardly any game playing. Hardly. It's not, it's not about the game. It's yeah. not about all of that. It's all about the, the, the things that happen behind the scenes to get it out yeah. to the masses and who owns it because they know that this is going to make mad, mad money. Mad money. Mm. And, and it's absolutely crazy. The guy who actually invented it, this Russian guy, he was he created the game using like very like a rudimentary version of the game, and he passed it around. You know, he got his friends at work to play it, and then bef like I didn't know this. Apparently, it was like really really popular mm. in Russia even before it got to kind of like you know the Hank. Um, uh, mm. Yeah, I think his name is Hank. Uh, even you know, it got to Nintendo. So he saw it at uh, the computer exchange show. And um, and he was like, this game is going to be like amazing. And then on behalf of Nintendo, you know, he needs to get the right so that then, because he knows that it's mm. going to make a lot of money. It's going to make him a lot of money. And this guy bets his house, his, his, apparently he, what they showed in the movie is nothing in real life. Because not only did he mm. bet his house, he betted his, his in-laws mm. house as well. Mm. He bet, mm. mate, the guy betted everything. He mm. doubled down on it. He took a massive risk. And him flying to Russia and all that stuff, mm. that all happened. Um, mm. You know, the KGB and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, there, there's elements of that. The chasing at, that we see in the kind of the end of the movie, mm. not so yeah, much. Course. But there was definitely like, you know, yeah. this case of, you know, are we going to strike a mm. deal? you know is this really going to happen are we going to kind of is nintendo going to be able to get it but yeah man it's riveting it's actually quite decent it's good mm. convoluted pay attention crazy pay attention. in moments oh yeah man. it goes dun, you got dun, pay attention when you think about it it does sound russian like if you think of the russian anthem yeah. or something sounding like that man I see all like when when you that with that noise, I see those guys. Yes, doing exactly. That, like, the kind of the, the leg thing. With... <laughs> yes, exactly. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> it's. <laughs> oh, you just showed your legs there for a second. We just see. <laughs> you know, I just noticed that. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is gonna come back and haunt me um but no but you're right man you're right it's just that kind of like you know those, and yeah, with those big yeah, hats yeah, and like you know yeah. i'm gonna kind of see that you know but um yeah so, i mean what would you say though would you is this would you go out would you go out and recommend this <laughs> how time i thought you was wearing trousers my man is in shorts he's in them 80 shorts he's in 80 shorts where he's got hardly any fabric <laughs> <laughs> that the runners used to do, the marathon runners. <laughs> yes. yes. Nah, do you know what? I would recommend it. I would recommend it. And it's on Apple TV, so you can watch it from home. Mm. But uh, yeah, I would recommend it, actually. I would definitely, I would. Yeah, it's an interesting film. Yeah. I, learned, I learned something it's as well. So watch. yeah, I've watched, uh, yeah, I like it. Yeah. And I, and I reckon we're going to get more, because remember you spoke about a show or a film or something about black movies. Yes, that's, that's going to be soon. Well. And it's similar to this film, as in who's got the rights to it and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, another similar mm -hmm. type of film, actually. Mm.
I think we're going to get a lot of this stuff. Mm. Things that we Look, kind Air of Jordan. know in Air. pop culture. Air came out recently. So again, you're right. Another thing to do with rights. And yeah, do you know what? Yeah, there's a bit of a thing going on, isn't there? Yeah. Is absolutely all right listen look folks thanks for listening to this show that is the end of this week's episode we've got mm. evil dead coming out next week so mm. we're gonna be speaking and renfield, about that. maybe maybe i can sneak in renfield so renfield. two horrors two horrors Dracula next week again. absolutely all right listen thanks for downloading the show and we keep, yep. we'll see you on the next exactly. one